Hey guys, it's Xcali and in this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve the slow motion in Filmora. Last time I did that same effect in Adobe After Effects. The thing about Filmora is that it is not sophisticated as Adobe After Effects, but you can achieve the same slow-mo with few tweaks here and there. So without wasting time, let's start. So guys, this is the Filmora's workspace. As you can see, there is the preview, uh, the timeline and the import section. I've already imported my files, which I'll be using it in this video. Uh, the files are same as the old tutorial, so we can compare the renders at the end. Also, I'm using the free version of Filmora, so there'll be the watermark on the final render. So don't worry about that. I'm, I'm going to explain you exactly how much of a difference it is so that you guys can understand how different both the softwares are. So now I'm going to drag both the clips, the song and the clip, which I'm going to use the as clip on the timeline. So I'm going to drag this over here. And then I'm gonna drag this over here. Yeah, so we have the same thing running. So now I have to find the part where uh, I'm gonna sync the kills with the beats. That the first part that you have to do it no matter what you have to do. You have to set up your base like that. So let's find the part. Live is over here, and so I get skilled over there. So I just need to readjust my clip again. Let's get a bigger cut, you know. Let's cut it from here. To be honest, that also sounded correct, you know. The cut the song. Uh wait. Nice. So we got the point. Watch it again. Yeah, exactly. Coming at you live and have killed Sova. We'll go to the next uh, death mark, which is on Brimstone. We kill Brimstone. Yeah. Okay, so real, real wild. On wild, we have killed uh, Brimstone. Let's watch it again. So here it light it up. You know, who do we light up? It's Phoenix. Let's find the part where I kill Phoenix. And uh, it's probably somewhere over here. Yeah, this is the perfect part. We okay. I think I went a bit quick. Let me just light it up. I think I need to drag a bit. Okay, and if you watch my tutorial in the last video, I showed a bit a lyrical video thing where she says fire and she pulls out the knife from behind. So I'm gonna put that part as well. Okay, so let me just clip this part where the scoreboard comes. Okay, so clean it up and you can clip this part where the last video ended. So let's clip this part as well. So we have all the clips set up. Right, we can watch it again. Set the world on fire, right? As she says, so we need to find the part where I set the world on fire. So I think it's quite ahead. Let me just reduce this so we can find it fast. So this is the slider where we can magnify or you know make it make the timeline look big or small. Okay. Uh there's an extra stuff over here. Okay, uh, so it's right over here after I kill. So uh, when she goes up the stairs, right, we find it. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna clip this part. We delete this. Okay, drag it over here. And you know we can also there's a thing called detach or unlink. So you don't want the audio over there. Oh sorry, you don't want the audio over there. Select the audio alone. You have detached the, you know, the part where the clip doesn't want the audio to be. And uh, 
yeah this looks good all the world on fire so we're gonna end it over here so we have basically synced all the shots and the extra lyrical thing and it looks something like an arrow now the interesting part comes now i'm gonna show you how you're gonna um, basically slow add the slow effect you know stabilize the video and then let's render and compare it with the adobe so guys now i'm gonna show you how to add the slow-mo effect which is the main uh, target of this video so let's find the first clip uh, where we're gonna add the slow-mo so right now this is the part where sova gets killed and we want the slow-mo effect so it's very easy in filmora just right click on speed duration and uh, you set it to 40 percent right so 40 is the exact value which i found to it to be smooth with my 60 fps uh, clip just uh, select 40 and press ok and then uh, just watch the video how it looks you can see there's a slow motion effect happening over there let me just increase this a bit uh, drag it down yeah watch it again so like there's a blood you can literally see the blood coming out and uh, yeah so we're gonna do the same thing for all the clips find the clip where this happens cut it and then apply this slow so C and then let's apply it over here and that was 40 and then you go to the part of phoenix dies right over here yeah a little bit back C right click speed duration and 40 and let's leave this as it is so it's something gonna be like this. right so now what i'm gonna do is uh there's some things which i saw like uh you can add this uh slow motions to be more smooth on filmora apparently we have a lot of uh post processing in after effects which makes it looks really good which does not export uh, i mean the filmora doesn't have so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the clip where this slow motions are happening go to options and add motion blur and repeat the same with all the uh, clips where you added the slow so um, you're gonna go to the clip and then go to uh, effects and then there's something called blur you can add a uh, zoom blur which i found personally best because it kind of act add an impact to the video so like add it and as you can see over here in the left side you will have the uh, quality and strength just increase the strength to 12 maybe yeah so it adds an impact to the video you know clean impact and then uh, in effects you have something called uh, motion trail so this is also an effect which you can try i'm not going to add it in here but it, it does the same kind of effect i know adds a bit of smoothness to the video but it's an extra thing if you like it, you can add just note it down if you want to add it so let's do the same thing for all the slow motion clips which you have as well and let's see how it looks it won't look properly on the uh the preview because i have made it to one fourth and if i make it to max it's gonna lag out so let's see uh how it's gonna how it's gonna look when it renders three two one so to render this thing you just have to click on export and then this uh, window comes up just name it as test okay or test one two three i'm just gonna name it whatever you want so it will start uh, you know uh, rendering the whole thing and uh, once it has been done uh, i'll show you how exactly it looks between the uh, ado water effects and the filmora so guys it has been uh, rendered and on the left you have the adobe the adobe clip which i edited in my last tutorial and the right as you can see there's a <laughs> big branding on it you know the filmora and uh, it'll have a weird piano sign sound uh, bear with me because the actual license is too costly and uh, you know i won't be using filmora as much but i just made this tutorial to help you guys so let's watch the adobe clip first how it looks you know i'll just go to the part where the actual uh, killing starts because it's you know. So this was on Adobe After Effects. Now let's watch how uh, Filmora looks. You know, there'll be a weird sound happening, but I'll just explain how the difference is, and uh, you guys are the judge. <laughs>
So yeah, this was the difference. So basically what I've seen is Adobe After Effects does some sort of smoothening effect. Like as you can see over here, like when I kill Sova, uh, right over here, yep. It is clean, but when I kill Sova here, uh, wait, let me just show you. Yeah. It is not as smooth as what, uh, you know, like what Adobe does. You know, it is not as smooth as what Adobe does, but still it is achievable. And, uh, you know, that's how it is. Like if you don't want to work on a very heavy software like Adobe, you can still go for Filmora. You can still follow my steps, which I did. And, you know, maybe use that uh, one of the things which I said you, uh, this thing called uh, edit effects and then uh, something called motion trails that might you know uh, make the video a bit smoother but still it won't be as smooth as you know the uh, after effects so there you go guys this is the difference between filmora and after effects and how to achieve that slow motion effect which i made on uh, after effects on uh, to filmora so if you have any doubts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. You can check my Instagram, uh, you can check my Discord, you can ping me anywhere. I am ready to help you out guys. And uh, sure, this is what I wanted to present to you guys. So thank you and please if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and do hit the bell icon and also like this video if it helped you out. See ya, signing out. Peace.